Uh, hello, guys, and welcome on Dreaming AI, the pioneers of creative AI and the creators of the Stable Diffusion Stability AI have released an amazing project, uh, the revolutionary Stable Swarm. It combines the versatility of Compi UI with a simpler interface. Uh, the main Swarm is also unique since it supports multi-GPU functionality, connect multiple GPUs or rent them from an online provider for incredible speed. Let me demonstrate the installation process and its appearance. Uh, I'll also introduce you to a fantastic model feature that no other user interface has offered you. All right, let's begin with two tasks. First, installing .NET 7, and then setting up Stable Swarm. Uh, all the necessary links are available in the description below, so make sure to check them out. If you're using Windows, download the XAC Pura version of .NET 7. If you're on Linux or Mac, Follow the installation instructions provided on the GitHub page. Um, after uh, downloading, uh, run the installation file and proceed with the installation process. It should be quick, um, but the duration might vary depending on your computer. Once it's done, move on to the GitHub page and scroll down to the installing on Windows section. Download the Windows back file and store it in a convenient location. Um, after that, double click the back file. And if you see a security prompt from Windows, click more info and then run anyway. This will open a command window. In the event the prompt disappears suddenly, don't worry, a file named stable swarm UI should be present on your desktop. Execute it and the process will resume. After a swift build the designated web page will load, scrolling downward you'll encounter the license agreement, accepted in progress. Uh, next, pick your preferred theme. My personal choice is the elegant black theme. Select next. The subsequent inquiry uh, pertains to the user of the Stable Swarm UI installation. Um, for now, it's restricted to use solely by you on this PC or it can be accessible via LAN access. Um, should you desire remote access from another device or computer, uh, select the corresponding option. However, I'll proceed with the yourself on this PC option. The subsequent stage involves a key decision. For a quick and straightforward setup, pop for configure locally, then proceed with next. Uh, regarding the Stability API, you can use it if you possess a Dream Studio account. Uh, just input the API key. In certain cases, you can bypass the backend installation if you have an existing configuration of Comfy UI. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm choosing a fresh installation of both Comfy UI and the Stable Swarm. Selecting the desired models is up next. I'll exclude 1.5 and 2.1 base models, and I'll include Stable Vision XL 1.0 and the Refiner. If you already have Comfy Automatic 11 or other UI from a prior installation, you can utilize those by selecting the respective checkboxes. A final summary showcases your selections. Confirm by pressing Yes, I'm sure install now. Subsequently, the backend for Comfy UI will initiate download. To verify progress, you can monitor the terminal or command window. Upon reaching 100%, the Stable Swarm will launch. Congratulations, Stable Swarm has successfully installed and launched. The user interface is divided into two parts, the Comfy UI Workflow Editor and the Generate tab. And by clicking the Generate button, you access the user interface with all the available nodes. Uh, if you add a new node in the Comfy UI Workflow Editor, it will also appear in the Generate tab, allowing you to seamlessly transition between the two interfaces. Moreover, if you've previously installed another user interface, such as Automatic 11.11, you can configure a Stable Swarm to access your models from there. Just go to the server configuration and provide the model root folder for a stable diffusion and automatic 11.11. 11. 
After making the necessary changes, restart Stable Swarm and you'll find all your models are readily available. Another exciting feature is the Models tab. Located at the bottom, here you can see detailed information about your models, such as their type, resolution, and whether they have thumbnails. This feature is especially handy for the SDXL models as it provides the central details about them, including resolution, description, and the thumbnail. Additionally, this data can be automatically loaded into the user interface, ensuring a smooth experience. I hope other user interfaces will consider adding this useful functionality as well. That's it. I hope this tutorial helped you learn how to install a stable swarm. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. And until next time, keep dreaming.